gotten to that place, that place where you would really rather just let someone else tell you what to do. They just, I don't want to figure it out anymore, just tell me what to do. Yeah, that is often the beginning of the stepping back into the dieting cycle. And maybe it's not a completely rigid plan of like, you must eat these things. For instance, one of the diets that I did, uh, I don't know if I was late teens, early 20s, but I was at that place where I just didn't know what to do anymore and I didn't want to think about it. And I thought, I don't have time to cook, I'm a student, I'm blah, 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 I'm gonna do one of these like, the foods ready for you plans. <laughs> yeah, big chain, they make an awful lot of money. And they make a lot of money because of that place, right? Of the, I, I don't have time to cook, I don't want to think anymore, just give me what I need and I'm, I'm out, right? And at first it felt really good because I went from that crazy, I can't cope, I don't know what to do, to this sense of control. And it's a pseudo sense of control though, because what happens is at first it's a bit of a relief, right? Because you get to break that chaos and there's some pattern and rigidity and at first that feels really, really good. But then life happens. So what happened with me was I went into this place and I bought my food every week and I saw my counselor every week and we talked and I got weighed and da da da. And I don't know how many weeks into the program I was when we were invited to someone's house for dinner. And I was not going to bring my prepared food to someone else's house for dinner. So I, um, I ate what I thought was a reasonable portion and then carried on with my plan. And then I went in for my weigh-in and I talked to my counselor and we spent the whole time talking about how I could have brought my food and how I could have reframed that so that it wasn't a big deal. <sighs> What I left with was a sense of guilt and shame. I wasn't doing it right. It wasn't good enough. Now, all these years later, looking back, I think, well, that program was doomed to fail. If there was no room for a dinner party, there was no room for other food. And that could have happened at a restaurant. It could have happened at someone's house. It could have happened at my house. And even now, the last thing I want my child to see is me eating different food. The messaging of that, that I have to have the special food because I'm trying to change my body, is different. And it's not healthy, and the research supports that. But that allure of just being told what to do. I was at a conference a couple weekends ago and I saw the same thing happen. We all went out for lunch and one of the women left the restaurant because her way of eating wasn't on the menu. And to my knowledge, it wasn't allergies, which is different, right? Like that's a totally different thing, but it's this I'm on or off plan. And then that leads to the I've blown it, right? It gives permission for that. Well, I ate this, so I might as well just say, the day's written off, I'll start again tomorrow, or I'll start again Monday, or I'll start again on the first. It's a trap that we fall into, right? And this just tell me what to do thing is that magical thinking. It's that someone else knows better than you, and they don't. You know what's best for you. I'm often asked, what is the best plan? What is the best diet? What does the research say? And the research shows that you can eat any of the plans out there and be wonderfully healthy. We just have to find what works for you. And that's where the intuitive eating piece comes in because it's about learning what works for your body. It's about having the flexibility. Um, the dieting world and, and that plan that I was on, it was like playing Frogger, but dieting style. <laughs> Remember that game where you're hopping across the road and one mishap and flat, you're done. Intuitive eating is, yes, there's, there's guidelines. It's not a free for all. It's not that chaos that you're desperately trying to escape through these plans. There's just an ease and a smoothness and learning opportunities and, and a gentleness. And you're never on or off, so you don't have to do the big swings. You're figuring it out. It's a sustainable long-term solution. Because within that, you can have, a, let's say you love eating keto, because that's a cool kid right now. So let's say keto, you're like, you know what, I feel really good with keto. But keto doesn't necessarily fit with the family dinners or with the restaurants or the whatever. 
Well, you could eat mostly keto and still be able to enjoy a meal out with your family. There's so many things that are available when we take away these brick walls, these frogger moments where as soon as you veer off, you get splatted. So if you find yourself in that state and this time of year, people are feeling chaos, right? There's so much going on. There's dinner parties, there's office parties, there's shopping, there's the kids are gonna be home for a couple of weeks. They're, like there's a, so much happening that people tend to fly off their plan and then they just go, it's, it's that all or nothing, right? So they're just throw it out the window, I'll start again in January. And then that starting again, because they don't feel good in this state of chaos, looking for this, just tell me what to do. And at first it's gonna feel really good, but it's not lasting. It cannot carry you forward because at some point you're gonna decide it's not working. And in that moment, you're off plan. And then you start the cycle again. Intuitive eating is the opportunity for you to honor your health and break that cycle. If you enjoyed today's video, then I think you're gonna love Applaud Your Bod. This is our closed Facebook group and it is full of women who are on the same path as you. They are learning to love their bodies, they're making peace with food, and they are bringing their best selves forward, their healthiest selves, on their own terms. So if that sounds like a sister that you'd like to be part of, click the link in the description, come join us.